Hey guys, so uh, it's Sunday, church day, and we're gonna go to church, and then after church we get like free tacos because it's taco weekend. So yeah, and then after that I'm gonna hang with a friend at the mall, and that's basically it. that I shared a bed with. And so I had a big brother that I shared a room and I shared a bed with after we ate beans four nights a week and we would go to bed and he was much older and bigger than I was. And so when the after effect would hit him, here's what he would do. He would have the after effect of the beans. If you don't know what that is, that's gas. And the room would sink and then he would take the covers and he would pull them over my head and he would hold them there and try to kill me. So I hated beans. My wife one time said, can we have beans for dinner? I said, we never having beans for dinner. Never. Not going to happen. I have bad memories of beans. My kids are already gassy enough without the beans. And, and, and so I thought, man, if I could just have money and have stuff, then I would have joy or have purpose in my life. And one of the things that I wanted was I wanted jeans. I wanted new jeans. Okay, now having jeans with holes in them is cool. But back then it wasn't cool. It was like, and, and my mom couldn't afford the nice jeans. And so she brought me Wranglers. The problem with that was only the cowboys in town wore Wranglers, and I wasn't a cowboy, and I wanted Levi's, Levi 501s, and my mom couldn't afford those. And, and so I got a job, and I worked, and I worked, and I worked, and I bought some Levi 501s. And I remember after I, I bought them, I thought, I'll go to school, and everybody will notice. Nobody noticed. Nobody cared. What I thought was going to give me joy didn't give me any joy. It just spent all my money. And, and so I was like, well, I, I, you know what? Maybe if I have a nicer car, then it'll be better. And I'd always had an old, old pickup truck. I mean, it was really old, so old that the, the floor was rotting, you know, and, and so it was, it was actually kind of convenient sometimes because there was actually a hole in the, in, the, in the truck where if I was just driving around and I had a drink I wanted to pour out, I didn't have to pour it out the window. I just poured it down in the bottom. I literally did that several times. I just poured it down there and it was very convenient, but I was like, I need a new car. And so I finally saved money and bought a, a, a sports car. Actually, it wasn't much of a sport. It's like a Ford Escort, but it was like... <laughs> Don't be hating. It was two doors. Only had two doors. So it was like a sports car. And there those little fin things in the back. And I'm like, this is awesome. I'm looking cool in this Ford Escort. And I bought the Escort. And I, and I recognized that. I, I was like, yeah, this is awesome. My life is so much better. That lasted about two weeks until one of my friends got a nicer car than my Ford Escort. And everybody wanted to hang. See, here's the thing. We, we try to search for things. We try to search for things that, that will make our life full. We try to search for them to make our life full, but, but the things we search for often leave us more empty. 
And I was like, well, I'm trying to fill, I'm trying to fill, I'm trying to fill my life with these things. I thought, well, if I just have that girl and I would chase that girl. And when I called her, I was like, oh, I don't really want her. And then I was like, well, that would. And I would, I would try to fill my heart with things that always left my heart empty. And then I remember I started hearing about Jesus and talking about how he had a plan and a purpose for my life. And I was like, well, I, I need something because I'm always feeling empty. And, and I gave my life to Christ. And all of a sudden I had this, I had something bigger than me living in me. Okay, guys, so we are back in the taco line because it is taco weekend and we are about to have some more tacos. Just got out of church. Anything you want to say, Ethan? So the pastor had Ethan dance for a cupcake. Unfortunately, I missed that on the vlog, but that was really cute. Are you going to get chicken this time again? Yeah. Okay, so here we are having tacos again. Ethan had a lot of sauce on his taco. He likes onions, a lot of salsa. He likes everything on his, don't ya? That pretty good? Yeah? There's Richie and his friends. But I'm gonna leave them alone so I don't embarrass him. Okay, so Ethan is going to play one of the little games here. Pop 
25 cents. Is that pretty good? Yeah? It's pretty hot out here, so that's nice and refreshing with it being so hot, huh? It was fun. Taco weekend was cool. I had to hang out with some friends and stuff. And I ate six tacos today because I felt obligated to because I had cards. So. And you actually ate in front of people? I only did it when they were looking away. So oh. it took some time. <laughs> Every time they looked away, you took this quick yeah. bite? And then just like turned around like I wasn't eating so they didn't know. Yeah. Wow. My talented son. Yeah. He's like a ninja. Secretive. Yes. Sneaky. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just wanted to close out this video. We've been home for quite some time now. I picked up Richie from the mall some time ago. He's in his room probably doing homework or watching a YouTube video or chatting with friends. Um, Ethan's in the living room watching, <clears throat> excuse me, watching some YouTube and I'm about to watch some Netflix and get ready for bed because I have got to get up early so I could go to work in the morning. Mondays, <laughs> gotta get up early. I enjoy my job though. But um, anyway, um, we just want to thank you for watching. Please like if you haven't already. Subscribe and comment down below. We truly would love to hear from you. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.